Hi, welcome to Rising Vibration. This reading is for Sagittarius. So this is if you are with the Sagittarius Sun, Moon, or Rising, and you have recently split, and you would like to build a bridge back to your former partner, or you would like to reconcile the relationship, you will watch this video. This is Fool for Love. I want my Sagittarius back. What can I do? So we are going to look at how the Sagittarius, it doesn't matter if it's male or female, how they feel, what they want, and what you can do to get them back. We're also going to look at how they're moving on, if they've met someone else, and if it's working out. So, this is from now until the middle of April 2018. So your former Sagittarius partner seems to feel very sure about uh, the reason that you split, uh, the rationale for why you split, and they are sticking to their guns. But it feels like it's more based on principle. It's the principle of the matter. We're going to keep those out. It's the principle of the matter. Especially if there was any dishonesty or anything that caused uh, some level of a challenge to their trust or doubt about your loyalty. Doubt about your loyalty. Uh, they feel sure about the split. Uh, and they may not want to speak with you at all. Or if they speak with you, it's like they lure you back in to speak with you. Like they're open to speak with you about your relationship and what happened. And possibly about reconciling. But it's just uh, to validate them. Just to almost pay you back in a way. Yes. It's almost to pay you back in a way. Uh teasing you, teasing you, because they're very sure about where they are. They're very sure about why you are no longer together. And it seems that they, they're they not going to backtrack or roll back, roll back their mind, or uh, they think they know the truth of the matter, and they're not willing to bend. Um, they're not willing to change their mind. They're very sure about why you are no longer together. Again, especially if there was any um, assumed dishonesty, and it might be that there wasn't, but the Sagittarius is very sure that it happened, and you may be trying to convince the Sagittarius sun, moon, or rising that what they think is not correct or not accurate or not right. Uh, I keep hearing there was an ounce of truth, but it has mushroomed. It has mushroomed. They think they know the details of the matter, but they do not. And even if you try to give your side of the story or your views, or even if you're trying to reconcile and convince them to come back, uh, they won't listen because they think they have it all figured out. This is where Sagittarius Sun, Moon, and Rising Sun. And you might even be feeling like uh, you're doubting yourself. You're doubting. You're doubting the past. You're doubting what happened. You're especially if it's around a particular incident. Like how you recall it is very different than how they are recalling this. It is causing you also to doubt the credence of what you say and what you remember with the Sagittarius because they are locked up and they won't budge. They won't yield. They're very locked in how they view things and they won't yield. They won't yield back to listen or consider anything else but their truth right now. So if we want to look at some strategies, we're going to look at some strategies you can employ to try to get your Sagittarius back. Or it feels like you need to get your Sagittarius calmed down and open to uh, your side of the story or 
uh, your view, your view about things. So let's see where we are. We have the seven of, of wands again. So it could also be that you're standing your ground. Either side is yielding because you have the truth how you see it. The Sagittarius sun, moon, rising has the truth how they see it. And you're both holding you're both holding your ground, standing your ground. Yes. So, and we also have the Queen of Wands and we have the world. So, it's like a stalemate. It's very much so like a, a stalemate. You're going around and around also the issue, like, No one is yielding. No one is backing down in this. I would like to pull a few more for uh, those of you who would like to reconcile and see what you can do to kind of break this cycle. Because I almost feel like the Sagittarius is teasing, like they're making it like they're open to talk to you, but when they talk to you, they're not. It's not sincere right now, how they see things. They're very heated up. And I'm getting, if you let them calm down, if you let them calm down a bit and give it a, a, give them a little bit of space and time, it's like they, they will come down a little bit and be more open to hear what you have to say. Nine of Wands, very guarded. Eight of Wands. And finally, the Eight of Cups. It's almost like if you want to try to build a bridge back or reconcile with your former Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising Sun, that you will have to have proof of what you say, which is a bit unfair to try to make you prove something that you can't and it's also based on their own perception. And it seems to me like the Sagittarius's perception of what happened or even why you split or even where the problems are is not correct, but they have their views. They have their views and they're not, they're not really backing down. Now this may have been worse in the past than it presently is now, but it needs more time. And if you try to talk to them now, they will talk so fast and so aggressively. It's like you won't be able to collect your thoughts or you'll doubt your thoughts. You'll be very intimidated by them. So it's not, and then you will argue because of frustration. So it's better just to uh, lay low because they will come after you. They will try to talk to you. If you back off a little bit and make it more like, okay, you have your views. I can't change that. I can't, uh, I can't intercede. I can't uh, come in between you and your views and your principle and what you think is right. So I will just, I, I will go my own way. I'll back off. I'm, I'm out because I don't have to defend what I'm saying and I don't have to prove but I'm telling you, there should be some trust, especially if you haven't done anything. It's just what they think. So that's what I have for those of you who would like to reconcile with Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or build a bridge back. But please, and I'm getting this, you have to be perfectly honest with them. Because it seems that if you are very honest, even if you have done something incorrect or you have done something um, even dishonest, uh, you, you will do better by coming forward with what actually happened and asking for something. This is the card of guilt and this is the card of caring and asking for forgiveness and really trying to just get the truth out versus trying to conceal the truth, which will not go well. So that's what I have with you uh, all who are trying to reconcile with the Sagittarius sun, moon, and rising sign between now and the middle of April 2018. Hey, you guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next month. Bye-bye.